In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five steps infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, it will show you five different steps. Then I have used some uh, different background color for each option. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and insert two rounded rectangles here. So to insert the rounded rectangle, go to insert shapes and from the rectangles, you can just choose this rounded corner rectangles. So here the size which I have taken for this is 3.77 and 2.69 and then I'm going to use 2.98 and 1.78. Then go to the view, enable the guides, select this shape, shape format, say align center, align middle and this also align center, align middle all right so now i'm going to select both the shapes press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to keep it aside for later use now i'm going to select this green one hold the shift key select the blue one go to the merge shape and subtract it so i end up getting a shape which looks something like this all right now i'm going to take this shape press ctrl d to duplicate and give some different color again make sure to align center and align middle all right now what i'm going to do i'm going to select this shape both the shapes hold the control shift key and put it here like this can you see here all right and then select both the shapes and add it towards the right also make sure that it has to be overlapped all right now one more thing i'm just going to add one more to the left all right and just make sure that it is properly aligned all right or you can align it later also not a problem but yeah okay and I, I don't want this one now i'm just going to delete this now this particular shapes i'm going to select this one right mouse click go to the format object here i've given some more transparency i'm just going to remove the full transparency effect here right and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to give some different color but that can be done later on so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this part from the top and one from the bottom for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw one rectangle again make it some more transparent and here i'm going to put it like this and hold the control shift key for this one i'm going to put this one and for the second one i'm going to put it bottom okay so for that reason like this you need to do again control d to duplicate and here i'm going to select like this and i'm going to select like this all right so let me just duplicate the slide by pressing ctrl d now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and this one go to the shape format merge shape subtract so i end up getting a shape like this now i'm going to select this one and this one again subtract this and this subtract this one and this one subtract and this one and this one subtract so I end up getting a shape like this now I'm going to select this one shape fill I can give some green color I can give some blue color I can give some different different color combinations you can try you can see here I can give more more of a blue then I can give this color then I can give more purple color all right so maybe I have to use this color here. You can see here what color combination I've used. Maybe I can use this color here. Anyway, it's any up to you which color you would like to use it here. And maybe this side, I would like to use the other color. All right. So you can just play with the colors. Maybe this color should come here and more blue should come here. All right okay and for these shapes i'm going to select this and shape fill i'm going to make it white the, but the moment i'm making it white it is not visible so i'm not going to make it white at this moment what i'm going to do is first i'm going to add one shadow effect for that select this one press ctrl d to duplicate give it a black color increase the transparency go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here again increase the size further and then just put it here all right you can see here and then just send this to back press ctrl d add it for this side 
con send back you can see here again press ctrl d again send this to back you can see here and here also and then the last one okay now i'm going to change this color to white all right and remove the full transparency so you can see here how this effect has come let me just remove the guides all right so we have got this particular shape now what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert icons and i can add few icons to it so i'm going to just randomly adding some few icons so based on your need you can just change it so now i'm going to make it 0.5 and i'm going to give some gray color dark gray color and i'm going to put it one by one here you can see here exactly in the center this one i'm going to put it here this will be here and then the last one all right then go to insert text box you can add step one i'm going to use open sans extra bold if you want and if you want to give the same color or you can just change the color according to your requirement maybe this color i would like to give a kind of a green color so anyway it's not compulsory that you have to give this color but it's up to you whichever color you like to give that's it you can see here now i've got step one let me just change to step two three four and five so you can see here i have changed this one i think it's better to have a gray color or somewhat black color all right and then go to insert text box equals lorem within brackets one i'm just going to delete the unwanted text make it justify reduce the font size give some different color and put it here all right you can see here like this and once this is done you can group these objects and then you can do some basic animation for example let me just select like this i don't want this one press ctrl g to group it so this has been grouped can you see here